The Warriors led 18-12 at the break, but Tigers fullback Jordan Rankin made it 18-18 when he converted Josh Adokar's powerful 56th minute runaway try from the sideline. To Imola Lola he crossed after some superb lead-up work by Sean Johnson and the hosts thought had another when Johnson scooted over shortly after but it was called back for an obstruction. New Zealand fans would have been hopeful of a Warriors win as they carried a 24-18 lead into the final 10 minutes, but saw Oso Su jogged over far too easily under the posts off a short ball in the 71st minute. Then, in the 76th minute, 5-8 Mitchell Moses jinked his way through the defense and stretched out to touchdown for a Tigers lead. The result was almost confirmed but there was still time for more salt in the Warriors' wounds, as Manu Vatavai let a bomb bounce in the final minute, allowing Kevin Nikama to touch down off the bouncing ball. The Tigers, on 26 competition points, will now be cheering for North Queensland to beat the 8th-placed Gold Coast Titans, 27 points, in Townsville next Saturday before taking on the on-fire Raiders at Lay Eckhart Oval on Sunday. Referees still under microscope in round 25. As has been the case so often in 2016, the referees frequently took center stage for the wrongs reasons during Sunday's clash. After the halftime siren had sounded, the Warriors put the ball through the hands with no plan in place, ending with Solomon Kata diving over on the left side of the field. It was awarded a try on the field, but the bunker found an obstruction on the right side when Tuai Moila Lolohia ran behind one of his teammates and the bunker said Tigers fullback Jordan Rankin was impeded. Lolohia's pivotal second-half try also came after Vetevai was deemed to have prevented a Tigers 40-20 kick but replays showed his foot clearly on the sideline as he reached the ball. Johnson's